and also we have few solutions for this type of sustainable design. So let's talk today about 12 our tools that called tools for Revit. Let's switch to Revit. First tool is called Smart Browser Free. Here you can browse the families you have in your computer very easily. You can analyze them. and filter search the families you need. For example, I open my doors families and I can see all the parameters that are in the family without opening it. Also, the one functionality of the Smart Browser Free tool is that I can check the, fa I can check the face inside my project. I can also analyze them and I can transfer them between the projects. For example, if I have a new project, I can open a project family browser, choose the, another open project, and choose the families I would like to add to my project so I don't, don't have to save them from the previous project and load them here. I can load them directly. So those families are here in a new project. Another pro project family browsers, which you can purchase, have more functions. For example, they can even change the parameters, create new types without opening the Revit in a very fast way. And also they can update automatically all your library from one Revit version to another. Let's switch back to our project. I'd like to introduce you the Smart Walls tool firstly. Basically, it is created for structural engineers, but it can also be useful sometimes for architects, because using this tool, you can analyze your walls, change parameters, and check the list of the walls that are in the project. For example, I can open the window, check the walls I have. If I need more parameters, I can add them to the list. For example, fire rating, I can see them. And if I need to change those, those values for some types of the, of the walls, I can change it instantly without opening every family of the world, for example. Tool will automatically go to any, all of those families and change those parameters for us. You can see those parameters are added. Also, our tools can split walls, automatically control the wall joints, add gaps at the wall joints, add gravity, points and also it can decompose walls which sometimes is useful for architects. The decompose wall function works like if you have wall and need to control it its separate layers and for example architects need to work on the finishing and would like to leave construction part for construction engineers the wall can be decomposed by predefined rules and then we'll have for each layer a new type of the wall. So as you can see, we have every layer of the wall as a separate wall. Let's switch to another tool, which is called Smart Floors.
not open to you so you can see how the tool works. Basically, this floor also created for structural engineers because the main function of this tool is to create slabs according to the pre-designed boundaries and it can create both both precast and cast and place slabs and add holes to it and make some detailization of it. But for architects we can use this tool for floor finishing adding for example if I would like to add finishing for my bathrooms I can do it easily and according to the room boundary so I will save time on drawing each boundary for each floor as you can see here I only have two floors and if I need to add floor finishing on insulation I can just go to place floors oh excuse me firstly I have to set some settings how and what floors should be added to my to my project i have already created one configuration users can create configurations as many as they need and save them and use them in a future projects on the same projects in, in the future for example i'd like to add tiles floor type and offset from the level at 10 millimeters I click OK, I click Place Floors, and for example, I would like to add it to the bathrooms and toilets. So I just filter this list by select data. So I have uh, toilets and bathrooms select, or oh, sorry, bedrooms selected. I meant let's see and baths. Uh, and now I'll just select all of those and click place floors and my floors will be placed automatically by my predefined configurations I can see that 40 floors are added and I can close the dialog now I can see that this floor is added here and in every bathroom and toilet I select it in the list. So now I can calculate the quantity of the floor I need and make shadows for it. Fourth tool I would like to introduce to you is called Cut Opening Free. Let's go to the free the basement view. Here, as you can see, I have ducts and pipes which go through my wall. Of course I already have created some openings for it so I can just go and delete them delete all and what I have oh sorry Okay, I just deleted those openings. You see my ducts and pipes intersect my walls, for example. Doesn't have any openings. And what I should to do is firstly go to Collaborate tab, make an interference check, which is standard function of Revit. Here we need just to check what <clears throat> families I would like to check. So let's say ducts and pipes. I need to find where they intersect, for example, floors and walls. I click OK. I get it. I got the table. I need to export this table into HTML file. Let's say cut opening. Now I need to read the file I just created. And here I can check check where is where my elements intersect. Sorry, let's close this window first. I can check where my 
ducts intersect elements like walls and floors. If I click, I can see. And I can add the offsets for those elements. Let's say change value 100. I can change as well, for example, for those. And now I need to save this file as a XML file. I need to close this window and insert those openings. into the project Let's click OK. I still can adjust the offset, change even the type of the opening and click insert openings. The tool will go automatically through the project and adds, oh, will add openings according to our pre predefined configurations. Very fast way. Another plugin I would like to introduce to you is called RAS Manager. The RAS Manager plugin is created mostly for MEP engineers because it can control add automatically information to spaces, but can be also used by architects for room placing and area placement. Uh, users can create the list of the rooms with all the information and parameters they use mostly in their projects and then very very in a fast way add them into the project for example i have some space file for space placement which have a lot of information already made in a in a text file i can open for example a Dutch file, which is in English, and already have a lot of data that I can place automatically to the project. The same thing can be done with room placement. The file is opened automatically by the user location, but every time can be changed manually to the location to the file that the user would like to use. And then all we have to do is just choose the room you'd like to add to the project and insert those rooms to the project. All the information will be filled automatically. If you click OK, we can add those rooms. The rooms will be automatically added not only nicely in the plan but also in a section and the room will go from the from the floor up to the ceiling, and we will not go to the sec to another level. Another tool I would like to introduce to you is called U-Value, and this tool is for U-Value calculation for the floors, walls, and roofs. All you have to do is open the tool set the folder for the, your material configurations and you can just check that folder and look how the file is created so here you just need to write the name of your material and add lambda value which will be used for calculation and also we can add additional information if needed then the tool will check this file and automatically load the materials, materials into the project. And then those materials can be used in the layers of your wall. And all you have to do is just calculate U value. Let's say we will calculate the value for roofs. Here you can see all the types of the roofs that were used in my project. The white lines means that those roof types are created in my project, but they are not used in a 
in my project and we can calculate for example u value for those two two roof types i can calculate either the standard u value or i can calculate the compli like complicated u value if my my roof or wall is created using framing and just we can predefine the profiles profile spacing depths so then we'll get the more precise U value if you, we use uh, walls with with framing. So after the calculation of the roof U value, the U value is added to the to the roof automatically. Another tool I would like to present to you is called Quick Dimensions. And it's a very powerful tool for dimensioning of Revit elements. We can add a change in one click for the whole walls. For example, if I choose quick dimension, we have dimension for walls. And I can just click on the wall and add preselected dimensions. And I get a free change. I can uh, change the standard configurations and set what would like to see in each change chain and in what spacing and distance place those change uh, dimension change also those chain chains can be placed on the walls that are have like breaks and not just like uh, one wall also, those mm, dimensions can be placed, for example, let's go to level 1 and let's hide a few elements. And we can also add dimensions to our different elements. And if I use just insert dimension, I can add really in a fast way dimensions to my elements inside of the project. I can also add to, a, for example, MEP elements by a few clicks. And then my dimensions are added. And you also can see when we were adding the automatic openings, they were also marked in the plan and will be marked in the sections. The next tool I would like to show you really quickly is called SortMark. And SortMark can just mark your elements in a fast way. It can change the numbers of your rooms according to predefined rules. It can write department level and the room and start to calculate from each level from each department or by any other rules you would like to set and also it can add parameters and information and marks to any Revit element for example let's add the the marks to the doors and if I just select the doors and delete the mark they already have I can add the tags and my tag should show the type mark I think just check really quickly well it writes type mark right so I'll just change the type mark for my doors so you can see that type marks are zeros and the sort mark can add the marks to the doors automatically and one of the most useful part of it is, is just that the tool can write the door swing for example those two doors are the same uh, family and type and it ha can automatically get the swing of it we need just to go to our sort mark tool and write swing direction for doors 
we need to decide where we want to write this parameter so we can create a new shared parameter or choose the swing direction parameter that I created before. Then define according to this picture is it the left or right door according to the standards and then write the letter or the name for the left and right door according to your language. If you click OK, the tool will go automatically to the each door and write the swing of it. And now we have just to number all the elements. So element numbering, let's go for doors. And then let's say that we would like to write the mark perimeter. Okay, we need, to, we would like, for example, to group our doors not by room, but for example, by level. Let's number it by ID. Then let's sort it by, mm, let's say, where is it? X axis. And our mark should have an let's say level, then suffix minus, then not room number, but let's say ID. Oh no, we don't have to have ID, we have a sort mark calculated value. And then let's say it has a swing, show parameters, instance, and swing in direction. And all I have to do is just click OK and the tool will go and change those maps automatically. And write the swing like left or right door. For example, we have this and this door, same family, but the swing is left and right. And it's the first floor. If we we'll go to the second floor, I get those results here. Okay, let's move to another tool, which is called Dynamic Legend. Dynamic Legend tool can automatically create legends if taking information from your project. All you have to do is just to create a sample block. And using this block, the tool can <coughs> create either a horizontal or vertical legend. This tool, this block consists from, from simple lines, detail lines, from the detail component which is legend component and just text and one generic connotation which is which comes together with our tool all we have to do is just select the block go to dynamic legend tool load sample annotations that are already loaded and create legend here in the dialog you can add any parameter you would like to see in the legend, hide it, filter it, and so on. So, for example, if I would like to have some more parameters, some for marks, I can add it to my table, and it will come here. I can also filter my my doors by my selections and all I have to do is just to add a few more configurations if I need and then to say how many rows I need to have per page and then just pick a few lines for reference and pick a few more lines for rows and then we'll to, to will go automatically through the project calculate all the information and create the legend automatically. And also we'll split it into pages. As I said, six elements per page, and we'll make a copy of the sample block. Okay, let's go to another tool, which is called Excel to Revit. It's a very powerful tool and very useful and popular among our clients. The tool just takes the all information from the Excel file and brings it to a Revit project. For example, let's use the file I showed you. Let's use this one. 
Let's open Excel to Revit and click on Create Table. Here there are a few functions that user can use. And then user can choose which spreadsheet he would like to use. I have only one spreadsheet. Then he would like he need to decide in which drafting view or legend he would like to add his um, Excel information and just click draw table. And the tool will automatically draw the table. And if the table will be updated in Excel, the tool will say the user about it and the user will can update it automatically. Another plugin I would like to show you is called Smart Sheets. Imagine if you have a big project with a lot of levels, like I mean floors and a lot of different drawings and you would like to manage them and create them in a fast way. So you need just to have one template for the tool to create another sheet. And this is just a simple title block with few views placed on it. All I have to do is just to go to Smart Sheet plugin, create shared parameters for my project that tool will use and then I need to click on a manage sheets button. Here I can use the sheet I would like to use as a template and create uh, more sheets using this template. For example, minus first level, level two, and I would like to add shadows for it and let's say legends of situations. Here we need to mark which what I would like to keep from those views. And now I need either to set manually what view I would like to have instead of a floor plan level one, for example minus one, then I would like to have shadow, or I can just click group views by type and two will go automatically and set those views automatically for me. Then I just need to click OK. The tool will show how many sheets it created. And those sheets are here. And I'll just go to another one and I have exactly the same sheet just with another information placed. For example, this is level two. And if I would like to have the name for the sheets according to the plan views, for example, I need to manage sheets. And for example, I can change the names according to my floor names. And then I have the sheets called by this name. For example, minus level one. And the last two I would like to show to you, which is basically created for structure engineers, but sometimes the structural elements are used by architects. And this tool just copes structural elements like beams, trusses. And let's open just a new project. Yeah, create just a simple truss. Let's say structural truss. Choose this one. I just draw the truss. And you can see that my parts of the truss are not coped. All I have to do is just click on my truss, go to sort and cope, and for example, choose any of the function I would like to use. In my situation, I would like to use uh, cope elements of trusses. Here I need to enter the coping distance, let's say 25, and the tool will automatically cope the elements according to predefined rules. Also, maybe I would like to adjust this with a little bit more functionality and the tool will cope 
those themes here as well. So this is it, the short introduction of our few plugins. And now I will try to answer the questions you wrote in the questions tab.